All right, we've got our Elite Desk 800 G2. And what we're going to do is get rid of this second um, display port, turn it into HDMI using the little expansion connector board. We're going to have to remove the fan and most importantly the heat sink so that we can get down to these screws in here so that we can get into there. Okay. Okay, we've got the heat sink removed. Actually has a good amount of thermal paste on it. Um, this was a pretty recent um, purchase from a, a refurb group, so maybe we won't have to uh, change it. So now we should be able to get down into those screws. Okay, getting the old one out is a little tricky. And what I had to do was kind of put my fingers on both sides here. And that seemed to sort of break the, the seal, so to speak. And then I could pull this old one out. All right, now we've got HDMI connected in. Where's that guy? Here it is. Putting it in was pretty easy. Now I just need to put the heat sink back on and reattach the fan and we'll give it a whirl. Well, this is a little funny. Um, so it won't boot to the HDMI port, but it will do the, the um, VGA. So I may just have to install some stuff first and then see what it looks like when it comes on HDMI. Okay, well, the whole um, HDMI option board was a bust, and um, I tried it with a couple different uh, distros. It would think that something's there, but we never, and it would think that data is going to the monitor, but it just wasn't. So I said, well, I'll just uh, put back in the old uh, um, uh, display port and I put that back in and then I used one of these guys um, um, to convert so I could get HDMI. These are only 10 bucks on um, Amazon. I think you can get two for 17. They're great, worked perfect right out of the box. I could even boot and have it uh, go into the BIOS, I believe, um, using it. So for me, I would just go with it. Now, if you do decide to, to put the option board in, one thing I didn't bring up was that as you're putting it in, uh, make sure you almost get like a little bit of a pop because um, on the bottom of it, there is a uh, connector that connects to um, on the board. You'll see on the, on the flip of it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. As you can see, there's this little connector. On the board, there's, of course, the, the opposite where there's a ridge. Make sure when you put this guy in, so it's, you know, sort of lying inside of the, the unit, that you kind of press down, you know, ever so slightly to make sure that you, you'll hear a, a notice, an actual click as it goes in there. And then you can, you know, uh, tighten up the screws. Um and but this guy just wouldn't work for me um and so i i don't know if we just got a bad unit um I, i'm pretty sure i was putting in correctly because when i put the display port back in it worked right away so and so i also know that the connector is correct and etc cetera, etc cetera. so personally i just go with this guy i mean um it just works you get the connector put it in plus you can use this on it's got two of course um, display ports you can use it on either one